Violence, heartbreak, and tragedy. The Dallas Morning News is telling the stories of people killed in homicides in 2024 to better show the toll of violent crime in the city. Maria Ramos Pacheco with the Dallas Morning News is with us now. She's been profiling one of these victims and is here to talk about that. Maria, thank you for being with us. Hi, Deborah. Thank you for having me. In the piece that we're talking about today, you profiled Jose Fernando Chacon Navarrete. Tell us about what you've learned about him. Yeah, you know, he was called um, Nando by his family, and he was a 25-year-old man from El Salvador. And his family moved here, and he stayed over there. But once he was a teenager, and the street gangs were aggressively recruiting young people in El Salvador, his mother decided to bring him here to Dallas because she thought he would be safer here. That's understandable. So what was the relationship with his mother and also his sisters? Yeah, you know, they were very close. Um, Nando had his mother's middle name tattooed in his chest, and they were always so close. He loved his mother's pupusas, the traditional uh, Salvadorian dish, and he was always joking. He was like the, the happy one from the family. That's how they remember him, you know, always making jokes, being so accessible to everybody, and just asking um, how to he could help the family. Yeah, definitely a deep loss for this family. What what other things did you learn about him and his family and their remembrances of him? Yeah, you know, they, they told me that he was always um, in the house making jokes about, you know, the food of his mother, that what he she was making. He was always, you know, uh, with his sister. She was the one who took care of him when his mother moved to, El Sa uh, to the U.S. And, you know, she said that it was just like a very like close relationship where they were always making jokes to their mom and hiding. And he was always leading those games. So for her, for Marcella, that was very dramatic um, when she learned about the loss of his brother. She was in El Salvador and she was coming to the U.S. with a working visa. And that's when she got the same notification. Yeah, definitely heartbreak for that family. Uh, Maria Ramos Pacheco, thank you so much for being with us and talking to us about Nando. Thank you for having me. You can read more of Maria's work right now on DallasNews.com.